Hi everyone, I'm Luis Alvarez, co-founder and vice president of Creative for Aquash. Over the years, Aquash has championed many different charitable causes. And this spring, we're supporting another great cause, and one that is dedicated to helping children suffering with hair loss from any kind of medical condition. Like so many of you, I have children. I have two daughters, and I can't imagine how difficult it would be for them to lead normal lives in today's world without their hair. So that's why I'm so excited to introduce to you a fellow hairdresser and salon owner who started Wigs for Kids. Please join me in welcoming my friend, the founder of Wigs for Kids, Mr. Jeffrey Paul. How are you doing, Jeffrey? I'm doing well, thank you, Louise. And I want to thank all the Aquash Salons that have already joined us in this important cause. Well, we're super excited, and uh, we want to share the story with all of our friends out there in the hairdressing community. How, how did this whole thing start? It was you and your wife, Zena, who came up with the idea of uh, starting Wigs for Kids. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it started with a, a real heartwarming story that came from my niece, Laura. She came into our salon one day, Louise, and she was crying, and it was the fact that she was diagnosed with cancer, mm. leukemia. How old? She was 11 years old. And the sad part about it was the fact that she was going to lose her hair, but she was going to also lose her hair just before a competition tryout for the wow. gymnastic team. And that's emotionally oh. you know, devastating for a yes. girl at that age. That's right. It was her dream come true, but uh, it was being robbed. So uh, she asked Uncle Jeff, the hairdresser, You're the hairdresser in the family. You can fix everything. So she asked me to be sure she had hair. And I said yes. And it posed me with two challenges that I didn't know existed when I said yes. One, a small head is very difficult to create a cap, a hairpiece so cap. So fit, fit was an issue. Exactly. Then, the attachment. How do you do gymnastics, swimming right. or showering like a kid does, and stay on their head at the same time? So, we met that challenge with a lot of grace and the opportunity to be able to deliver her hair system on time so that she made the team, but also the opportunity to open wigs for kids mm -hmm. that now serves right. kids all over the country, thousands and thousands now. It's amazing. There are many other conditions that causes kids to, uh, to lose their hair. Correct. Tell, tell everybody correct. a little bit Chemo about Chemo and radiation the two most known about, but alopecia is an autoimmune disease that fights the hair, makes hair a disease and kicks it out. And kids normally lose patches of hair. When patches or right? the entire body. Wow. Then there's trichotillomania, which is a rising issue where they twist and pull their hair out and scalp so themselves. So like it's a nervous condition. That's right. It's, it's a compulsive disorder. Or the pressure that kids have today. I that's mean, right. that's like incredible. And the bullying and, and the social media things. It just is, is a cause of really a difficulty for them. So let's talk about the quality of the piece that you're making. Well, the important part is just what you said. The fact is that losing your hair is one thing, but looking like you're wearing a wig is even worse. So we went to the furthest extent to make the very best quality wig, but that comes with a price. Obviously, it's like $1,800 sometimes just for the production of a, pr a piece like that. Right. But we ended up creating it with a lot of support of hair, hand tied, one hair at a time right. into lace so that that hairline can disappear and look natural like you right. do in your photo shoots. Well, and uh, you know, for a lot of people out there that do not know what a lace front wig is, a lace front wig, especially the lace is around the front of the hairline and the hair is tied by hand. This is where it becomes expensive. Mm -hmm. One hair at a time. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is so that it looks more sparse in the hairline, mm -hmm. so it looks more natural. So when a, a young lady sweeps the hair across her forehead, it doesn't look like that heavy, wiggy kind of feel. Right, is that it correct? flows and moves. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to go into the body of the, of the rest of the wig, which has got to be a prosthetic. It's got to be something that also has been injected one hair at a time, but also gives the ability to stay on and look natural mm -hmm. from swimming, showering, whatever so, they might be in an activity of life a child. You told me that over 40% of the ponytails that are harvested are not properly secured when they're first cut, mm -hmm. so about 40% are discarded. Well, that 40% exactly. is so sad because of the fact that the giver has given it with their heart. Right. The cutters have cut it with their heart, but they haven't bound it correctly so it gets all mixed up. They haven't wrapped it correctly, and they haven't cut it from the right positions of the hair so that they can get the most harvest out of it. Right. So one of the most important things that we've got to do as a team here between Aquash and Wigs for Kids is get the message out and teach everyone exactly how you need to cut the ponytail so that we eliminate that 40% so that it's 100% of the hair that, it, that is donated can be used. Is that? Well, that's what I'm excited about because I love 100% of anything, and I know that we can do that, especially with your support. But well, the excitement is there's estimated 2 million children, Louise, out there that need hair because of hair mm. loss. I know we can make a difference. You ready to teach me? I am ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this.